swimming is very important in my life. I think that when we stop smoking, we need to have a sort of reward, uh, a sort of new project and a major change in uh, the daily life. I'm a chest radiologist for more than uh, 20 years and my field of interest is lung cancer. In 2013, my young cousin, she was at that time age 49, uh, was diagnosed with an advanced form of lung cancer. And for me, even though I was seeing patients every day, it was really a shock. And uh, I was really, really extremely sad and um, and this motivated me to start something to fight uh, against lung cancer, to detect it as early as possible. It's the number one cause of cancer death. This is why we are currently implementing lung cancer screening in Europe, because of the scientific evidence that it really, really uh, decreases the risk of dying of lung cancer. Technology in medicine in general is evolving very, very fast, but what is great in radiology, it's not just a feeling, you can see it. And it's really exciting because each year, the machines, the software, they are getting better and better and better. So I can say I'm a little geek. <laughs> so of course I love technology. CT is a big machine, uh, which can be impressive, but uh, which is used to do images of inside the human body without having to open it or to slice it. In order to get images in CT, we have to give X-rays and chest CT is powerful enough to see and to detect lung cancer at a very early stage. And that's why it's effective in lowering lung cancer deaths. Pour faire un scan RT, tout le monde, l'examen est très rapide. Il n'a pour 5 minutes. AI is helping us in multiple ways. Uh, I think one of the most significant ways is in improving images. So it's an additional layer to optimize the, uh, the image quality and get the most of our city to help us to diagnose and to detect, for example, lung nodules in the case of lung cancer screening. The rate of uh, evolution in CT and in chest CT in particular is really impressive higher image quality, and all this at a much lower radiation dose. We have already a glimpse of what hardware will evolve to in the, in the near future, and it's really, really exciting. The lung cancer that was diagnosed for my cousin made me realize that I was also potentially at risk, even though I had stopped smoking. And I took the opportunity to perform a CT and uh, unfortunately there was an anomaly and I was operated in 2019. I was lucky, but any participant who would be screened could have the exactly same chance to be diagnosed at an early stage. My hope is that we can recruit every category of the population for lung cancer screening. And this is where Canon company helped me by providing me a mobile truck with a CT scan to bring the technology close to participants that would never go to hospitals for, for the screening. It's extremely important to detect cancer or other disease the earlier that you can, because it will not be at the earlier stage and you will be able to do treatment. We have enough data to support it. We know that it's working. Là, je la trouve, je la trouve super cette photo. Je trouve qu'elle fait très actrice italienne là sur cette photo. There was this shock of lung cancer diagnosing my cousin. I was feeling so guilty that she could not be screened at an early stage. I know that she would be very proud that she was the reason why I started all this. <laughs>